Good morning, friends around the world. Let's begin our meditation with a true story titled The Early Days of Emmaus Center. Back in 2007, Trish and I moved from Stewart, Florida to Severna Park, Maryland. Trish's father had passed away, left the family with a home located on the Severn River with his kids. As we were flying home from burying her father, I asked Trish a question. What would you do if I had an untimely death? She immediately responded, I wouldn't stay in Florida. Wow. That was a surprise to me. And the, fa and the fact that she didn't hesitate about it was even more surprising. So I asked her another question. Where would you go? What would you do? I'd move back home. Oh, Maryland was her home. That is what it's called, home. <laughs> we arrived back in Florida that day in 2007. I had much to think about that night as I went to bed. In the morning, we got up and sat down at the kitchen table, and I had a cup of coffee. I looked Trish in the eyes and asked her, why are we waiting for me to die so that you can go, go back home? <laughs> After all, Trish moved to Florida for me. The next few months unfolded. We purchased Trish's brother's interest out in the home that he had inherited. And I went to work meeting with contractors and, and getting a much neglected home in shape so that, that we could move in it. When we finally moved to Maryland, it was in November of 2007. We had also been looking for a church location in Glen Burnie and found a perfect location on Central Avenue. Well, it was perfect for us. I had a sign made that identified us as a Maya Center. They will recognize him in the breaking of the bread. With three bullets on the sign, Upper Room Ministries, Counseling Center, and Homeless Outreach. Trish and I were going to continue our practices in counseling during the day, conduct an inclusive service on Sundays, and a strong commitment to serving the poor in our area. The first day we were open, we had four people living on the streets come visit us to see what was going on. The next day, we had a dozen people show up. Now, mind you, we did no advertising, merely hung a sign that said, we were a homeless outreach. By the end of the week, we were overwhelmed by the numbers of needy people coming to us. And Drish looked at me and said, we can't have a fee-based counseling center here, Ed. I think God is trying to tell us something, something. Because she was already licensed in Maryland and I was a pastoral counselor, Trish decided to take her practice to Ellicott City and I would remain in Glen Burnie full time. So we scrambled. Someone once said, we plan and God laughs. <laughs> we laughed too. We wondered if you could freeze peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in the beginning. In March of 2008, we had a snowstorm. And the schools were closed and the roads were not cleared. But this northern Michigan boy was not afraid in driving in snow. In fact, I was shocked to see no cars on the road when I drove into Glen Burnie that morning. As I pulled around the corner, I saw a dozen or so people waiting to see if we'd show up and open the center that morning. It was at that point I decided I wanted for the rest of my life.